Hello everyone. After I got my Boss DR660 drum machine up and running, I soon realized that I needed to sync it to the sequencer in my modular synth somehow. I need a MIDI to sync clock module. MIDI isn't really rocket science, though it was introduced around the same time as the Space Shuttle. The hardware interface is made using a handful of standard components, and the serial protocol is even simpler. The interesting part here is the MIDI system real-time messages, MIDI timing clock, and start, stop, and continue messages. I was also a bit curious about the relatively new kid on the block, the Raspberry Pi Pico. I know, I am a little bit late to the party, since it's already a year old. Anyway, it's a $4 board that runs circles around the old 80 mega based Arduino that I have been using in my earlier projects. So I decided to try it out for this project. The Pi Pico doesn't come with any pin headers, since it's possible to solder it directly to the PCB. So I had to add the two 20 pin headers myself. But that is pretty easy if you have a breadboard to hold everything in place while soldering. Just be careful when you pry the Pico loose from the breadboard so it doesn't break. Software development can be done with MicroPython or C++. C++. And since I prefer to work in C, I decided to go for a bare metal ARM toolchain integrated with Microsoft Visual Studio Code. I found this great YouTube channel that has two videos that shows how to set up the toolchain and also to set up the first project using the Raspberry Pi Pico SDK. I must point out that the setup is quite difficult. There are a lot of software packages to install and manual configuration to get it to work. So for those who prefer to work in the Arduino IDE and its framework, there is support for the Pi Pico in the Arduino IDE as well. Okay, time to take this IDE to the breadboard and make a quick proof of concept to see that I can extract MIDI clocks and flash a LED. And everything seems to work just fine. Let's kick off this project and make a feature list. First of all, simple controls, no menu diving. The module should have external clock and MIDI inputs. It should of course also have clock divider outputs. I want it to have a large display with a BPM counter. I also need separate start and stop buttons, like a tape deck. There should be three different operation modes. MIDI clock sync, internal clock with a tap tempo, and external clock sync. One of the challenges with the Pi Pico is that it has 3.3 volt IOs only. This means that I need to convert the input and output levels. The output needs to have 5 volt levels to interface with the rest of the modules in my case. Another thing that I need to address is the lack of reset button on the Pi Pico. To enter the bootloader you need to hold the boot cell button on the Pico while you plug in the USB connector. This is very inconvenient and after a while the USB connector will get worn out. With that in mind I started to breadboard the design and make a schematic diagram in KiCad. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so this is the design. Uh, I wasn't able to fit it on one single page, so I have to use uh, three pages to, to fit everything. And uh, if we start with the first page, we have uh, up here on the left, we have the MIDI input interface with um, the optocoupler and uh, everything that is uh, needed for that. And we also have the clock in and reset in. And uh, these are basically level converters for converting to 3.3 uh, volt that the Raspberry Pi Pico can handle. Down here we have the power section with uh, 12 volts uh, from the um, uh, power connector. And it's regulated down to 5 volts. On the right side here we have the output buffers that converts the 3.3 volt outputs to 5 volts that is uh, routed to, to the Eurorack. And if we look at the second page we have uh, basically on the left side here we have all the inputs, the clock in, reset in and MIDI inputs and also the mode switch and the start and stop button. 
on the right side we have the outputs uh, with uh, the the signals that uh, are connected to the seven segment uh, displays and also to the start and stop led and uh, this is for uh, reverse voltage protection of the when you are feeding uh, voltage both from from uh, from the um, euro rack and uh, usb so so avoid that there or any issues with that and uh, finally we have the reset button so we so we don't have to plug and unplug the usb connector when we are uploading a new firmware to the raspberry pi pico okay on the final page uh, we have uh, a lot of stuff we have uh, the uh, two shift shift registers uh, where one half is used for the seven segment display and the second half is to generate the output clock signals from uh, from the clock module and we also have uh, some the, some switches this is the mode switch and here we have the start and stop button uh, switches and leds next step was to try to figure out the size of the module and which type of components i should use I wanted to have a large seven segment LED display and two big buttons for the start and stop. I settled with 12 HP, which seems like a lot of space, but it was actually really crammed since I wanted to fit everything on a single PCB. The Pi Pico has castellated holes, so you can solder it flat to the PCB, but it was no way that I could do that. So I had to put it on pin headers. Which is a good idea anyway, I think, uh, if you need to replace the Pi Peak or swap it between units. In the next episode I will show the finished product and I will make a demo of the features that I have implemented so far. So stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching, take care and I see you soon. Goodbye.